from MedMedia. Today I'm going to be going over the layer mask effect uh, to build the Perfect Avengers poster. So the layer mask tool is a great feature in Photoshop that helps you hide or reveal. It makes things appear or disappear in your project. So we have a project that looks something like this. What I've done is I've um, also added an extra canvas layer to this today and the reason for me I just wanted you to have more work area more area to appreciate um, the fine work I've done collecting our favorite Marvel superheroes I don't have all of the Avengers here I have most of them and uh, certainly I'm not expecting you to use all of them but if you'd like to take the challenge you're more than welcome to do so the assignment, however, is to only include five. Five of the Avengers. Okay, so today we're going to start off with Spider-Man, who is kind of the heart and future of the franchise. Um, note that I am not using Iron Man because he is dead. All right, so we're going to zoom in a bit on Spider-Man. Holding space bar, dragging forward. Okay, so... First time in business, uh, Spidey is selected here. I'm going to drag him to the top layer just so we know clearly where he is. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly change the size of this because everybody knows and loves Spider-Man. Oh, that's not great resolution. Okay, I'm enlarging in a bit. I pressed Command or Control T to start free transform, and then I had these handles pop up, and I just dragged it out. And then I can click yes, I like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add our first layer mask. And you can do that up here under the menu, or you can go down here the easier way and just click this white rectangular with a black dot in it. It kind of looks like an inverted Japanese flag. Okay, so I'm clicking on this, and our first layer mask appears here. It's this white patch next to our image. All right, so how the layer mask works is basically it's a non-destructive way of uh, basically erasing. And erasing in a way that can kind of fade one image into the next. And we're going to be doing that by using the brush tool. So how the layer mask works is anything white here in the layer mask is visible. Anything black is invisible. So it's basically like a way of kind of painting in an image. Uh, to better illustrate, I'll just show you with the brush tool. So I've, I'm right clicking here with my brush tool and I'm, you want to make sure that you have zero hardness. Um, a lot of you will have that setting already set up. And then you can pick whatever size you want for your brush. I'll pick a larger size because what I'd like to do here is I'd like to erase some of the bigger chunks of this image. For this assignment, you want to make sure that you eliminate all the hard edges of the poster. We don't want a poster in a poster. That just doesn't make sense. And I'll go up here too. Okay, so another thing that you definitely want to remove is this date and any sort of other identifying information at the bottom. Okay, now that I have done that, I'm gonna use the brackets to zoom in a little bit more. I'm, I'm just gonna outline Spider-Man. Now, something that I seem to be, oh no, I didn't make a mistake. Um, so what's kind of cool about this is like in the event that you do make a mistake, for whatever reason, let's say we go like that, ah, and there's an easy way to do that. What you would do, just do is invert the color to white, and suddenly the white is there. So kind of depending on what you're doing with your project, you can paint with white or you can paint with black, depending on what it is you're trying to do. Are you trying to hide or are you, are you trying to reveal? So I'll switch back there. So yeah. So this is it. I'll be trying to get out the rest of the poster there. And because all of the image images I've taken from 
the internet all correspond to the Avengers in-game ad campaign. They all have this purplish or, or bluish hue, depending on who, who you picked. So they all kind of look the same. And yeah, I think that works okay. I'm gonna enlarge it a bit more to try to speed things along. And depending on what type of project is, you might wanna change the opacity here. If you wanted like the clouds to be faintly um, over Spider-Man for whatever reason, you could do that as well. And I'm, I'm also going to get here inside. Sorry, I'm on a different table and the mouse isn't really working as well as it should. Okay, so this is how you do it. It's a pretty important technique for combining layers, which you're definitely going to be doing um, in this final exam self-portrait assignment. Okay, so pretty good. Not too shabby. Um, and now what you're going to do for the remainder of the assignment is to pick four other characters and put them wherever you'd like. Of course, we can always move it. He's kind of off-center there. Um, I'll put him right there. And you don't necessarily have to line them up in a row. You could like really enlarge one and kind of build a montage around. The other thing I want to point out is how to deal with this logo. And you can go down here to logo. Remember the blend modes are right here. And we are going to try to lighten this. We're going to remove the black. So we're going to go to screen. And uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to press Command or Control T. I'm going to stretch out the logo a bit larger and kind of put it a, a little bit underneath. And as the logo is going to pop out, I'll drag that also to the front, to the top, even in front of Spidey. So you can think of the sequence that you'd like as it relates to people in front and back. Um, yeah, I'll do one more and then we'll call it a day. You don't really have to worry about the fact that I've added this weird extra canvas layer. If you'd like to change it, you can go to image, canvas size, and change it down to 500. And it will take out all of the, I'll do that now. This is, um, yeah, what it would look like in normal circumstances. I'll drag that up there. Um, I'm going to select Hulk. I think he's over here someplace. Where is Hulk? <sighs> Hulk. Okay, I'm just going to grab him and drag him in. Okay, so I'm going to do one more in the form of Hulk because he's fairly easy to do. But you should already have the idea. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, because Hulk is hulking, I'm going to make him even bigger. Oops. Commander control T. Make him as big as I can. All right, so we'll put him there. Then I'm going to go down to add layer mask. I'll zoom in a bit more. And I'm going to deselect Spidey just to get him out of the way. Going to the brush tool. Um, it's kind of small. So I'll enlarge it a bit. Hulk is pretty big. He doesn't have a lot of painting that needs to happen here. Although it's kind of easy to forget that 
Although if he was at the very top of that, maybe that we didn't have to do that. But we do want these hard edges cleaned up. So he'll fade into whoever's next in line. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. And I'll bring back Spidey. Uh, I think it's only right that you include Black Panther out of respect. You can put him in the corner like a, a floating Yoda type person. All right. And that is how we do the layer mask.